Hi guys, in this video I'd like to talk about safe orientation and lock the function. Very simple but at the same time quite useful feature in Revit. As an example I'm going to be using one of my coursework I completed back in 2019 for my Beam Master degree. So let's say you saved one of your three debuts and you wanted to drag it onto a sheet such as this one I've done for my coursework. So if I go to my sheet, go to my 3D view, if I press W2 to tile the views so I can see it side by side. And let's say you want to add some annotation to indicate the pile foundation sizes. If I add a layer, so you can see it's pointing right to the top of the foundation and this is exactly where you wanted to have. But there is always a chance that you can, you forget that your 3D view is dragged onto a sheet or maybe if you work on a central model, one of your colleagues doesn't know that it's on a sheet and he decides or she decides to rotate it. So what you can do is go to 3D view and press save orientation and lock the view. If you don't press it and you or one of your colleagues rota rotates it, you can see it does affect your sheet and you don't want that again to avoid that you go here and you press save orientation and lock the view so you can still drag it but you can't rotate it so if it's locked that can work as a signal as a warning that if someone lock locked it so this 3d view might be on a sheet so it's a good signal or a warning but again if you later on decide to make some changes to your 3D view, you can unlock it and rotate it and lock it back again. Thank you, please subscribe to my channel.